So we are going to study the set of real numbers. To fully understand the set of real numbers, we are going to look at all the elements of the set of real numbers. We have natural numbers, we have whole numbers, we have integers, we have rational and irrational numbers. Now if we are going to combine all of this, this will give us the set of real numbers. Now why do we need to study all of these terms? Now in studying mathematics, it's just the same of studying foreign language. If you don't know the terms and you don't know how the language works, you will have a difficulty of understanding and learning that language. Okay? So the same in math, there is a need of studying all of these terms. Why? Because in our future lesson, we are going to face all of these terms. We will encounter natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. Even in the higher math, when you go to high school, when you go to college, you will always encounter all of these terms. To start, we are going to look at each of these set of real numbers. So we have, we are going to start the natural numbers. These are numbers that we use for counting like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. Okay? So these are natural numbers. The next one, whole numbers. These numbers are formed by adding zero to the set of natural numbers. So if you are going to compare whole numbers to natural numbers, the only difference is just zero. Why? Because natural numbers, it starts with one, two, three, and so on. But in whole numbers, it starts with zero. And we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And the next one, we have integers. And oftentimes, it is represented by or denoted by capital letter Z. Okay? So they are formed by adding negatives of the natural numbers to the set of whole numbers. So put this in your mind from 1 to 1, 2, 3, and so on. These are natural numbers, right? And if you will add 0, it becomes whole numbers. Now, in integers, what has been added here is that all natural numbers were added with negative sign. So that's why you will have negative 1, negative 2. 1 is a member of the natural numbers, right? 2 is a member of natural numbers. 3 is a member of natural numbers. 4 is a member or an element of natural numbers. 5 is an element or a member of natural numbers. But what has been added? It's just negative sign. So we have here negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Or oh, oftentimes all of these numbers are referred as less than 0. Okay? So in integers, you will have negative integers, you will have positive integers. The negative integers are below 0, which, which are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. The positive integers are greater than 0, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So what about 0? 0 is neither negative or positive. So the next one, we have rational numbers oftentimes referred as or denoted as Q. The set of rational numbers is the set of all members which can be expressed in the form of a fraction A over B. 
where the numerator A and the denominator B are integers. So, if you would look at rational numbers, it can be expressed in the form of a fraction where the numerator are and denominator are integers. But, the denominator will not be zero. Why? Because any number divided by zero is undefined. And the decimal point or the decimal representation of a rational number either terminates or repeats. So let's take a look on the example. We have negative 5. This is also a rational number. Why? Because negative 5 can be expressed in a fraction, in a fraction form. For example, you have negative 25 divided by 5. Then it will give you an answer of negative 5. The decimal representation of a rational number either terminates and repeats. When we say terminates, the decimal point will just stop like for example 3.5 or 3.56 but in repeats, you will have 3.6666 and so on or you will have 7.1456, 1456, 1456, that's what we call repeats, meaning the number after the decimal point, it repeats. Okay? So, these are rational numbers. The next one, we have irrational numbers. Irrational numbers or the set of irrational numbers whose decimal representation are neither terminating nor repeating. These numbers cannot be expressed as a quotient of an integer. So, example, we have pi. I know that you are familiar with pi. The value of pi is 3.14159265358979328238. If you would look at the numbers after the decimal point, you cannot see any terminating or repeating. Why? Because if you would look at it, there are different sequence of numbers. Now, another thing or another example of irrational numbers. We have the square root of the square root of 2. Okay, the square root of 2. You have 1.4142 If you would look at all the numbers after the decimal point, you cannot see any terminating or repeating numbers. Okay? So, so um, a clue for everyone, all the square root of non-perfect square, they are example of irrational numbers. Example, the square root of 3. 3 is not a perfect square. If you would look at that, in your calculator, it will give you a number or 1 point something. Where the numbers after the decimal point does not repeat nor terminates. Okay? Or the square root of 7. 7 is not a perfect square. Which will give you... 2 point something and all the numbers after the decimal point does not repeat nor terminates. Therefore, all the square root of non-perfect square are irrational numbers. Now, to better understand the set of real numbers, we will plot them in a number line system. So, look at the first one, natural numbers. So, this one is our number line system. Meaning, this line here, it represents the real numbers. All real numbers. Okay? So, if you would look at the natural numbers, these are, this starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? 
What about the whole numbers? Whole numbers, if you would plot whole numbers in the number line system, it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. The arrow here, it means it continues beyond. Next, we have integers. In integers, we do have positive, we do have negative integers. So if you would look at all of these from 1, which we have natural num numbers that are greater than 0, okay, these are positive integers. And numbers less than 0, like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, these numbers that are less than 0, we refer them as negative numbers integers and zero is neither negative or positive so the next one we have rational numbers rational numbers are all integers all integers belongs to rational numbers and all numbers that can be expressed in a fraction or a decimal point that will give us a decimal decimal numbers which terminates or repeats so let's say for example we have negative 3 over 4 1 over 2 which is 0 0.5 we have 7 over 4 now in rational numbers if we will plot rational numbers in the number line system you could see the square root of non-perfect square. So to summarize what we have learned, real numbers are both irrational numbers and rational numbers. And rational from rational numbers, we can see fractions, we can see also integers. And if you have integers, um, we have positive and negative integers. And under integers, we have whole numbers and we have natural numbers. And to summarize, all the numbers that you can see in the number line system, they are all real numbers. Okay? So, we will have an example here. We are going to classify the given numbers by placing a check mark in the appropriate row. So we have set of um, natural numbers. So we are going to put check um, in the following box in here. What about 12? Is it negative 12? Is it a natural number? No. So we will leave it empty. What about square root of 21 no what about negative 3 over 7 no it's not a natural number because by definition um, natural numbers these are numbers that we use for counting like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on what about 5 yes 5 is a natural number what about 3.5 3.45 no it's not a natural number what about 0 0.11 33 and so on no they are not natural numbers what about here the only whole number here it's 5 okay next we have integers so we are going to put check if these numbers above belongs to integers so what about negative 12 yes negative 12 belongs to integers and 5 and what about rational numbers okay we have negative 12 oh no we have 5 we have neg um, 3.45 0 0.1 1 2 2 3 3 
Yes. What about negative 3 over 7? Okay, I forgot to put the check mark. So we'll just put something here. Yes, this belongs to um, rational numbers. What about what about square root of 21? No, it's not. Why? Because um, square root of uh, 21 is not a perfect square. So next, um, irrational numbers. We have uh, yes, the square root of 21. And lastly, real numbers. All of them are real numbers. Since all the numbers that belongs to the or that you can plot in the number line system, they are all real numbers. So it's your turn. So classify the given numbers by placing a check mark in the appropriate row row. Okay? So it's your turn.